so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey! It's me, Blippi! And today, I'm at Museo da Imaginação. It's a fun museum where you can use your imagination. And here in Sao Paulo, Brazil, we have such great imaginations. Are you ready? Let's go. What is this? Whoa, it looks like a bunch of colorful blocks. And yeah, look at this. It's a triangle. Ooh, we'll set that right there. Whoa, look at this. Looks like a blue square from this side, right? Yeah, we'll also set that right there. Whoa, and look at this. It's the color orange. We'll set that right there. And look, the color red. We'll put that right there. Whoa, Ooh, and some more red and more purple. There we go. Wait a second, those all fell. Oh, because you have to balance. If you put one right here, yeah, do you see how it bends down that way? Yeah, if you put another one, they fall off. Okay, so let's put some right over here, and then, whoo, before it falls, we have to even it out. See, two pieces over there, two pieces right here, and for these. We have to put one on that side. Whoa, that's really heavy. These are heavier than those. So let's go like this. How about let's put four on this side. See, one, two, three, four. And then let's put these two heavy ones over here. <laughs> Maybe we need three. There we go. Oh, that's pretty balanced. That's fun, cool. Whoa, speaking of cool, oh, look, it's a black chalkboard. Whoa, I love chalkboards because you can draw anything and everything you want. And then, whoa, it's attached. Then you can erase it. Okay, let's see, where's the chalk? I think I found it. Yeah, white chalk. Check this out. Hmm. Yeah, it's a circle. Now we can use our imaginations and picture what it is. Oh yeah. Oh look. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what that is? Yeah, it's an eyeball. Cool. There we go. Okay, let's go back to a circle. There we go. And now I'm gonna imagine a nice tasty fruit. Oh, there's a red one right here. Red, ooh, with the stem, ooh, and a leaf. There we go, an apple, yum. <laughs> there we go, and what about this? A sport, yeah, a sport with a ball that you throw in a hoop. Yeah, a basketball. There we go, dribble, 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 slam dunk. Oh, I love drawing and I love imagining things. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Looks like a bunch of ropes. Ropes that you can climb. Hey, before I climb, why don't we close our eyes and just imagine ourselves climbing to the top of a really tall mountain. Okay, oh, I'm at the base of the mountain. Ooh, maybe it's Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world. Ooh, I'm getting to the top and it's getting really cold. The higher you go, the colder it gets. <laughs> Whoa, I made it to the summit. Hey, hello down there. I see you. Hey, meet me over here, okay? <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, a slide. Whoa, will you count me down from three? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, that was a fast slide. Whoa, what's this? Oh, a bunch of white circles. Oh, on the end of wooden dowels? Oh, I know what this is. I have an idea. Check this out. Whoa, there we go. Oh, if you push your body into it, and then you walk away, 
Check it out. Whoa, look, it's me. See my body right here? Whoa, and then my arm, and then my other arm. Oh, and my two legs. Cool, this place is awesome. Yeah, whoa, what's all this? Oh, a bunch of blue pieces of hard foam. Look at this, it's a circle with two circles in it. Hey, and look at this, a giant cylinder. Oh, maybe you could, yeah. Imagine yourself with a hammer, a giant hammer. Wait a second. I'm a construction worker. I'm going to build a town with my giant hammer. OK, let's see here. What could I use? Yeah. Oh, I can use this. It has the base of a building. OK, we'll go like that. Ooh, and look at this, a circle. Let's put it right there. Whoa, and look at this giant rectangle. It's almost as big as me. Okay, perfect, okay. Whoa, another rectangle, but look, it has a hole inside. Hello. <laughs> okay, there we go. Whoa, and then if we put this right up top there, we made the tallest building ever. Well, with our imaginations, if you were the size of an ant, Oh, yeah! Now we can imagine this is wind. Whoa! Oh, that was awesome! All right, let's keep exploring. Whoa! <laughs> See you later! <laughs> Whoa, what's this area? Ooh, it looks like a bunch of blue rope. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I know. I'm gonna imagine myself to be an animal that loves to climb. <laughs> yeah, a monkey. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! This is awesome. I love this place. Ooh, a red tube. I wonder where this leads to. Let's find out. <laughs> oh, it's pretty dark in here. Hello? Hello? Where'd you go? Oh, yeah! I found the end. Cool. <gasps> Whoa, check it out. A construction site. I love construction sites. Whoa, look at this. Ooh, it looks like we have some orange and yellow foam. And it looks like a very old house. Hey, why don't we imagine ourselves being a wrecking ball? Then we can wreck this house, so then we can build a new one. Yeah! Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! I love imagining being a wrecking ball. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Construction is awesome! Yeah! Woohoo! Check it out! An excavator! Ooh! I am an excavator! Yeah! Look! I got an arm, a boom, and a bucket over there. <laughs> Whoa! And look down there! Whoa, my tracks, yeah. Ooh, and right here's my cab. Ooh, it's nice and cozy in here. This is where the operator sits. Cool, whoa. All right, Dirt, see you later. <laughs> whoa, 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 oh, hey, there you are. Whoa, I was just climbing another mountain. Whoa, this is Mount Kilimanjaro. It is so tall. Whoa, I should probably get down, huh? Whoa, yeah, that was awesome. It was so much fun imagining things today. Yeah, like climbing Mount Everest and Mount Kilimanjaro. Ooh, and also imagining that we had a wrecking ball. That was so much fun. Well, 
this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Yeah, ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. And look at what's behind me! Whoa! A blue and yellow airplane! Yeah! Did you see how I was acting like an airplane? Woohoohoo! I sure do love airplanes. But hey, today I'm at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, Washington! And today you and I are gonna learn about airplanes! Yeah! Let's go! Welcome to Blippi Airlines. Where are you heading today? Wow, that sounds like a great destination. Is it for business or pleasure? <laughs> awesome. All right, uh, let's see. You are all checked in. Do you have a bag? <laughs> okay, perfect. Ooh, thank you. <laughs> okay, let's put the bag on the scale. All right, looks like you're within the limitation. So let me put this on the conveyor belt. Well, have a great flight. But wait a second, that sounds like it's so much fun. Do you mind if I come? <laughs> Perfect, all right. <laughs> there we go. Now I have a ticket too. Okay, let me come around. <laughs> I am so excited for our trip together. <laughs> hey, we have to go through security, all right? <laughs> oh, did you hear that? Oh, that means I must have something I shouldn't have on me. Oh, I know what it is. It's just my cell phone. <laughs> All right, I'll put that there. <laughs> Come on. All right, here we go. <laughs> Perfect. Let's go. Wow, look at the airplane. Whoa, look at the fuselage, the cabin, and look at the tail up there. Whoa, this is going to be such a fun flight. All right, let me put your bag down right here. There you go, bag. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Yeah, a fuel truck. Whoa, check it out. Fuel. <laughs> All right, let's grab the hose and let's make sure that the airplane has a lot of fuel. Here we go, let's connect it. Oh, perfect, it's full. All right, here we go. Okay, now that the aircraft has a lot of fuel, now we can buckle up. Okay, first let's put on our seatbelt. There we go. Okay, now we'll listen for instructions for the flight. <laughs> Thank you for choosing Blippi Airlines. Please mind the aisles and be sure to find the nearest emergency exit. Buckle your seatbelt and make sure it's nice and tight. And in case you need an air mask, it will come down from above. All right, now that we got the safety briefing and passengers are seated, now I think I should fly the airplane. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Wow, so many cool gauges and instruments. Whoa, all right, here we go. Check it out. See this airplane? It's so big. Yeah. I am way smaller than this airplane. And do you see what these are? Yeah. These are called wings. Most airplanes have two wings that go from the side, but not all of them. <laughs> Some have more. <laughs> Whoa. And look at this. See, the main body of the airplane is called the fuselage. Wow. This airplane is actually used to put people inside and transport them from one location to the other location. Just like, say, a car or a boat or a bicycle, but way quicker. But hey, remember how I said this airplane is so big? Here, come follow me and I have another airplane for you. And it is not very big. Remember how I said that plane is really big? 
Check this one out. Whoa! Yeah, this plane is small. <laughs> well, it's smaller compared to that plane, but I'm sure there's smaller airplanes than that one. But hey, what colors do you see on it? Yeah, red, white, and blue. <laughs> yeah, woohoo! <laughs> oh, and what shape is that? Oh, yeah, that looks like a star. Whoa, this plane looks like it goes so fast. Whoa! Whoa! Check it out. This engine actually goes to an aircraft. Yeah, but there's no outside casing around it. Whoa, it is so big. Look how big it is compared to me. And do you see everything in there? There's so many hoses and tubes and... Oh, geez. So the air goes in right here, gets compressed, fire, and then boom! Whoa! These tires are so big! And there's actually two tires right there. Yeah, we're at the front of the aircraft. So let's head to the back of the aircraft and see how many tires are back here. Whoa! Do you see them? tires back here. Wow, this plane must be really heavy. Yeah, that's probably why they have so many tires. Whoa, and look how big this wing is. If it was raining, I definitely would not get wet. <laughs> Whoa, check out this airplane. It looks like it goes really fast. Hey, what color of airplane is it? Yeah, you're right. It's blue with a little bit of yellow. <laughs> Good job. Whoa, look at how big that airplane is. Whoa, do you see the colors of it? Yeah, it's white, red, and gray. Let's go find some more colors. Whoa, look at this airplane. Do you see something different with it? Yeah, there's two wings over here. And there's two on the other side. Yeah, so it has two sets of wings. That's really cool. But hey, we're here to learn the color of it. <laughs> what color is this airplane? Yeah, you're right. You said green. Good job. <laughs> Fly, fly, fly Till we can touch the sky We're gonna soar right through the clouds We're gonna fly, fly, fly We're going way up high On the airplane in the sky We're going to fly Gonna fly, fly, fly Till we can touch the sky We're gonna soar right through the clouds We're gonna fly, fly, fly We're going way up high On the airplane in the sky We're going to fly
much fun learning about airplanes with you today at the Museum of Flight in Seattle, Washington. <laughs> do you like airplanes? Yeah, I do too. They're so cool how high they fly in the sky and how they're small airplanes and big airplanes. Wow. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <laughs> Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. And it looks like there's a dino behind me. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Dinosaur. <laughs> Do you know what kind of dinosaur this is? <laughs> yeah, it's a Tyrannosaurus Rex or T-Rex. <laughs> they were really big dinosaurs, 40 feet long, 12 feet tall, <laughs> and lived a really long time ago. <laughs> I like T-Rexes because they have really big heads and really teeny tiny arms. <laughs> Let's go find some more dinosaurs. Ooh. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> We're here at a dig site. Yeah, where we can dig up and discover fossils. <laughs> oh, good thing I have my trusty brush. Yeah, when you're digging up fossils, you don't want to use a shovel or your hands. You want to use a brush so it's nice and gentle. Because breaking a fossil could mean losing precious information for a scientific discovery. <laughs> yeah, we basically don't want to break the fossils. Well, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Ooh, let's see what we can find. Oh, brushing away. <laughs> brush. Whoa! Whoa! Check it out! It's a fossil! <laughs> I wonder if this is a dinosaur. What kind of creature this could be? Whoa! Hmm! Whoa! <laughs> Check it out! Huh! Are those fingers? Whoa! <laughs> this looks really cool! Gotta keep brushing! Whoa! Did you know that people who work to study dinosaurs, they're called paleontologists. <laughs> yeah, I really like dinosaurs, but I'm not a paleontologist. Yeah, paleontologists, they know all about fossils and dinosaurs. Whoa, they study dinosaurs every day. <laughs> That's a lot of dinosaurs. Whoa, check it out. <laughs> it's a dinosaur bone. Whoa, it looks like we found a foot and we found the body. <laughs> I wonder what's over here. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Look, we found its face. Hello. <laughs> Hello, little dinosaur. Well, this isn't a little dinosaur. This looks like a big dinosaur. It looks like a stegosaurus. <laughs> Hello, stegosaurus. Whoa. That's awesome! Whoa, look at this! <laughs> this looks like a really, really big bone. But this isn't a bone, it's a fossil. Hello? <laughs> yeah, well, a fossil might look like a bone, but what happens is a bone falls on the ground, and then dirt and mud covers it up. <laughs> then that bone decomposes, it goes away. But there's still that space where the bone was, and sediment and different material fills it up, and turns into a rock. And then, a really long time in the future, <laughs> we find it, just like this. And that's a fossil that scientists can use to learn about dinosaurs. <laughs> Whoa, check this one out. <laughs> this is a really small fossil. Huh, hmm, this doesn't really look like a dinosaur. Hmm, doesn't really look like a bone either. I wonder what it is. Ooh, I don't know what this is, but I bet if we ask, a dino expert can tell us. <laughs> hey, let's go find a dino expert. Hmm, I wonder what this is. <laughs> Whoa, I really wish I knew what this fossil was. Hmm, Ooh, I see someone, maybe they know. 
Hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Hi, Blippi. I'm Kevin, oh. and I'm a dino expert. Whoa, no way! It is so nice to meet you, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin's a dino expert. Maybe he knows what this is a fossil of. <laughs> Whoa, well, Kevin, we found this fossil, but I don't know what it is. Oh, yeah. I can totally tell you what this is. This is actually a tooth of an Edmontosaurus. Oh, a tooth? <laughs> Whoa, we didn't know what it was, but it's a tooth of an Edmontosaurus? That's right, yeah, that's this animal right here. Whoa, check it out! <laughs> the Edmontosaurus is so big! <laughs> oh, and look, it does have some teeth up there, and it looks like it has a duck bill. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> yeah, that duck bill was actually used to peck at leaves and pull them off the trees. Whoa, that is amazing! Huh, did it just eat leaves or other things too? Uh, no, this was an herbivore, which means it only eats plants. Whoa, yeah, some dinosaurs were herbivores. <laughs> that means they like to eat lots of plants, but others were carnivores. <laughs> they like to eat meat, and some were omnivores. Yeah, that means they eat meat and vegetables and leaves and plants. <laughs> Whoa, oh, but this tooth looks like lots of teeth. Is this just one tooth? This is just one tooth. It looks like that because uh, this Edmontosaurus used to grind up its food to make it easier to eat. Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome. Hey, that kind of reminds me of a cow. <laughs> Whoa, that's a pretty cool Edmontosaurus. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. Its legs are so big. <laughs> Looks like it's really good at walking. <laughs> yeah, it is, actually. It used to walk on all fours, but if it needed to get higher, uh, like to get trees, leaves off of the trees, uh, it would stand up on two legs to get more height. Wow, did you hear that? <laughs> it could stand up just like you and me, or walk on all fours just like a little puppy dog. <laughs> well, so silly. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> And I had one other question, Kevin. Yeah? Do all dinosaurs walk on the land? They do, actually. Oh. Yeah. Well, what about dinosaurs that fly in the air or are in the water? Those actually aren't considered dinosaurs. They're oh. called prehistoric creatures. Whoa, prehistoric creatures. Whoa. <laughs> and I really hope I can see a prehistoric creature one day. <laughs> hmm. Well, do you know of any prehistoric creatures? I do actually have another one right here. And you know what? He's a little lonely. He needs a friend. Whoa, check it out. It's a prehistoric creature. Whoa. <laughs> and what kind of creature is this? This one's a trilobite. Whoa, a trilobite. <laughs> oh, well, we need to find this trilobite a friend. <laughs> well, thank you, Kevin, for showing me the trilobite and this amazing dinosaur. <laughs> this was so much fun. <laughs> I'll see you later, Kevin. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's go find a friend. <laughs> Whoa, there are so many amazing fossils here, just like our little trilobite. Hello. <laughs> yeah, keep your eye out. We might need to find him a friend. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> oh, there's a person. Maybe they can help us. Hi. Hi, Blippi. I'm Laura. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Laura. <gasps> Whoa, and what is that? This is a trilobite, a really big one. Whoa, look. We have a little small trilobite and a really, really big one. <laughs> it's so big. And I bet they're going to be great friends. Oh, yeah. Hey, good friends like to dance. Let's do the trilobite dance. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> these trilobites are really good dancers. <laughs> wow, this is a really amazing fossil. Yeah, and these trilobites, they lived underwater? They did. They are prehistoric arthropods, which means that they're related to bugs and crabs. Whoa, did you hear that? This isn't a dinosaur, no. A trilobite is an arthropod? An arthropod. <laughs> Whoa, that is a really big name. It <laughs> is. But it just means that the trilobite is a really, really old bug. <laughs> Whoa, and check it out. 
Laura, is this a dinosaur? No, actually, this is a prehistoric marine reptile. <laughs> Whoa, a prehistoric marine reptile? So it's not a dinosaur? No, it's not. Dinosaurs lived on land, but there are other creatures that flew in the sky and swam in the sea, like yeah. this one. This is Tylosaurus. Ooh, hello, Tylosaurus. <laughs> hey, this is a Tylosaurus. This is a Tylosaurus. Yeah, <laughs> it's a Tylosaurus. Ooh, let's give it a name. We should call this Tylosaurus Tyler. <laughs> I think that's a great name. Hello, Tyler. Hi, Tyler. <laughs> Ooh, and it looks like Tyler has a lot of teeth. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> and do you see? Tyler is really, really big. <laughs> he looks almost as big as a T-Rex. <laughs> he is. He's almost the same length as a T-Rex. You could call him the T-Rex of the ocean. Whoa, check him out. <laughs> Wow. He's really cool. Do you see that spot on his jaw that looks like a break? It's actually not a break in his jaw, it's a hinge. Tylosaurus could unhinge its jaw to swallow prey whole. Whoa, did you hear that? Tyler can unhinge his jaw. <laughs> yeah, you've probably seen a hinge before. Yeah, a hinge goes like this. <laughs> Doors have hinges and Tyler has a hinge for his jaw so he can open up really wide. Woo! <laughs> to eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> well, thank you so much for teaching me all about prehistoric creatures. <laughs> I'll see you later, Laura. Bye. There you go. <laughs> OK, let's keep looking for some more dinosaurs and fossils. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>
Wow! Hey, and do you notice anything interesting about this plane? Hmm. Yeah, it's the bottom of the plane. Hmm. It looks kind of like a boat. And do you notice the windows? <laughs> yeah, the windows are circles. And maybe you've seen those on a boat or a submarine before. <laughs> yeah. Do you know why that is? That's because this is a seaplane. <laughs> yeah. And there are two kinds of seaplanes. There are balloon planes and flying boats. <laughs> yeah. A float plane is just a regular plane with floaties on the bottom. But a flying boat is a boat on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> it's made of metal. It's so musical. <laughs> Whoa. That is awesome. It's really important that the short Sutherland MR5 is a flying boat because it was built a long time ago. Yeah, and it would fly really far distances across the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> yeah, and there weren't a lot of places for it to land on the land, so it could just land in the water. <laughs> this is so awesome. Hey, let's go take a look inside. Come on. <laughs> Let's keep exploring! <laughs> It's a helicopter! <laughs> Whoa! A rescue helicopter! Hello! Whoa! <laughs> this is fun! Driving the helicopter! Whoa! <laughs> this is really cool! Whoa! It's so bright and yellow! Yeah! Whoa! Look at it! Whoa! It's a real life rescue helicopter. Yeah. Whoa. It is so cool and so bright. Yeah. It's the color yellow. <laughs> yeah. And it's really important that it's a bright color like yellow. So if you need rescuing, you can see it. <laughs> Hello. Whoa. And check it out. <laughs> this looks familiar. It looks like the same kinds of floaties on a seaplane. <laughs> this is in case it needs to land, it can float in the water. <laughs> wow, you see up there? Look, it's a really big propeller. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, yeah. A propeller on a rescue helicopter is so strong and so fast, so it can go through any kinds of weather. If it's really windy, or really rainy. <laughs> It'll be able to make it through the storm. Oh. Hmm. And what's this? <laughs> There's a duck. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Duck. Hello, Blippi. Hi, how are you today? Oh, I'm doing just fine. Just being a duck. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> Whoa, no way. It's the cockpit of the helicopter. Yeah, and 
You see there's a window. That window is really important because the pilot can look out and make sure the rescue is going great. <laughs> Whoa, and look over here. Come on. <laughs> Look at it, the most important part of a helicopter rescue mission. Yeah. This is the winch. Whoa, <laughs> yeah. The winch is what someone would clip onto. Yeah. So they could drop down from the helicopter and save someone. Yeah. They just grab on tight and whoa, <laughs> up they go back into the helicopter. Whoa. <laughs> and once they were inside, there would be a doctor and maybe a snack, <laughs> so they would be nice and safe. Wow, look at it. There's beds and lots of seats and floaty devices. <laughs> Whoa, helicopters are awesome. <laughs> Free. is a place where they store all kinds of jets and airplanes. Whoa, and look at this jet. Let's go look at the cockpit, come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. This is awesome. This jet is called the Tornado. <laughs> Whoa, and it goes really fast. Yeah, look at it. This right here is the cockpit. That's the place where the pilot sits to steer the plane. Whoa, look at it. There's another seat right behind the pilot. Yeah, that's where the navigator sits. And he makes sure that you're going in the right direction. Whoa, it's so big and so cool. Hey, and look here, it has really big wings. Whoa, huh, and it looks like the wings can open up. Yeah, they open up so the plane can do different things. When they're really open, really wide, it helps the plane be nice and stable to land. But if this jet wants to go really, really fast, they close up, woo, to zoom away. <laughs> yeah, and that's really helpful because the tornado likes to fly low. Yeah, really low sometimes as low as a tree. Whoa! <laughs> well, we better go see some more jets. Come on! <laughs> Whoa! There are so many planes and jets here in the hangar. <laughs> yeah! Whoa, and look at the back of the tornado. Whoa! <laughs> This is where the jet engines are. Yeah, look, this one doesn't have an engine in it right now. Oh, look, this one does. <laughs> Ooh, hello. <laughs> it's so shiny. Yeah, these jets can go so fast. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh, let's go see if we can find some more. I think this is another jet. Yeah, this jet right here is called a buccaneer, yeah, a buccaneer. Do you know why it's called that? Hmm, I wonder why. Well, I bet it's called that because these planes take off from aircraft carriers, <laughs> yeah. Do you know what an aircraft carrier is? Yeah, they're really big boats that store lots of planes. And do you see this wing? Yeah, look, the wing, they fold, <laughs> yeah, they fold, just like your arm can fold or a piece of paper. <laughs> yeah, they fold so you can fit lots of plane tight together on an aircraft carrier. Yeah, and look, it has really big wheels and tires. <laughs> Kinda like a car, but that helps the plane land nice and safe and roll smoothly down the runway. <laughs> Whoa, it's so big. <laughs> I think I see another plane, come on. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. <laughs> wow, this plane is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, 
Do you see the plane hanging above me? Yeah, it's called a Harrier. <laughs> yeah, a Harrier. Whoa, it's also called a jump plane. Hmm, a jump plane? <laughs> I like to jump. Will you jump with me? Okay, let's jump like a jump plane. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was really fun jumping together. Do you know why it's called a jump plane? Yeah, that's because it has really powerful engines that can change direction. Yeah, instead of going out of the back of the airplane, they can go <coughs> under the airplane and it can take off straight up like a helicopter. <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty cool. <laughs> hey, I think I see one last plane that we should look at. Come on. Whoa, <laughs> do you see it? Hmm, do you see another plane? Hmm, I see one too. It's enormous, it's gigantic. It's the Hercules. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. It has a really big nose. Oh, yeah. That's what the front of a jet or plane is called. The nose. <laughs> yeah. And this one has a really big nose. Look, it's the color black. <laughs> Hercules planes are so cool because they're so big. They're so big that they can even transport and carry people and vehicles. <laughs> Whoa, that's really big. This plane can carry cars and trucks. What? <laughs> wow, these jets are so cool. We should keep exploring. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, Mach 2. <laughs> yeah, it's so much fun riding in the cockpit of a plane. <laughs> uh, but this plane looks a little small. Hey. Why don't you and I try to find a real cockpit? Whoa, and a really big plane. <laughs> Come on, let's keep exploring. Look at what I'm wearing! This is an actual flight jacket. <laughs> yeah! This is what a pilot would wear if they were flying in an airplane. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! And check it out! Come on! <laughs> it's one of my favorite airplanes. It's a Spitfire! <laughs> yeah! Oh, look! And there's a person. Let's go say hello. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blippi. What's your name? Hi, I'm Chris. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Chris. Whoa, could you tell me a little bit about this airplane? Yeah, this is a Spitfire. Whoa. It's one of the most beautiful aircraft we have here. <laughs> Whoa, I love this Spitfire. It's so cool. And it's camouflage. Whoa, <laughs> is it green and gray on the top and bottom? Yeah, it's a little bit blue on the, on the, on the bottom. Oh, that's so cool. I bet that's so that if you're on the ground, you can't see it in the sky. That's right. Whoa, blending in. <laughs> uh, Chris, would it be okay if I got in the Spitfire? Mm, okay. <gasps> no way! We get to sit in the cockpit of a real life Spitfire? <laughs> yeah! Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Check it out! I'm in the cockpit of a Spitfire. <laughs> yeah! This is so cool! Whoa! Chris, what are all these buttons and controls? Yeah, there's so many buttons, aren't there? Yeah. So they tell you like how fast you're going or how much fuel you have or even where you're going. Whoa, that's so cool! It looks like there's all these different dials and levers and buttons. Oh, and is this the steering wheel? Yeah, it's called a spade grip. It looks a bit like a small wheel. Whoa, <laughs> spade grip. And does that turn the plane left and right? Yeah, that makes it go up and down. If you want to go left and right, you have to press those pedals at the bottom. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, there are pedals so you can move the plane left and right with your feet. 
Whoa! Hey, and what's this with my left hand? What's that? What do you think it is? Well, it says, oh, <laughs> I see what that says, throttle. Wow. So that makes it go faster. Whoa, <laughs> faster and slower. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. Oh, and what's this over here do? Oh, it looks like it's connected to, to wheels. Why does it need wheels? Yeah, so if you're in the air, you can pull the lever and the wheels go up. Whoa, that is so cool. <laughs> I feel like I'm ready to be a pilot. <laughs> well, thanks so much for teaching me about the Spitfire, Chris. <laughs> You're welcome. Enjoy the flight. I'll see you soon. <laughs> Whoa, I feel like a real life pilot. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look at what it is. It's a flight simulator. We've seen so many cool planes, and now we get to feel what it's like to fly in one. <laughs> yeah. And this simulator simulates, or makes it feel like, they're really ultra low flights. So you're in a plane really low to the ground. And we're gonna be exploring the country, Wales. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. today here at the Royal Air Force Museum in London, England. We got to see airplanes and jets and rescue helicopters. <laughs> I even got to sit in the cockpit of a Spitfire plane. <laughs> yeah! Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great! Okay. B L I. P-P-I, Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Blippi, Blippi. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout.